Next question is from Mackenzie Blumen. How do you go about building up your maintenance calories if you're already well accustomed to weightlifting and want to lose fat? The task feels impossible oftentimes as a petite woman with a very low BMR. Okay, so she's referring to speeding up her metabolism, getting her body to burn more calories. And one of the parts of that formula is to lift weights, which she says she's doing. Now, step number one, I would identify, I would look at your workout program and make sure that it's really focused on strength and building. Sometimes people in the situation say, but I'm lifting weights. I look at the routine and it's all it's like hit. Cardio. Yeah, all hit and circuit type training. So I would say for you, focus on strength, like pure strength, a, a traditional. How long are your rest periods? Yeah. That, that'll tell me a lot. Yeah. A traditional strength training routine, do that. But let's say you're doing that, okay? You also need to send another signal along with that to get the metabolism boost up, which is, believe it or not, simply eating more calories. Slowly increase your calories. There's an adaptive process that happens when you reduce or increase your calories where your metabolism uh, starts to, to adapt. And cutting your calories gets your body to become more efficient with calories. Increasing your calories, no joke, speeds up your metabolism a little bit. Your body... Uh, doesn't feel like it needs to be as efficient because it's getting more calories. So I would say take your current caloric intake, whatever it is, and just bump, even if you're if you're afraid, just bump it by a hundred a day, a hundred, hundred and fifty a day with a good traditional strength training routine. Start there. As if you start to get stronger, you build a little bit of muscle, then you can bump it up another hundred and and do the slow reverse process of eating more calories. Now, if you're you're an experienced lifter, so you and hopefully what comes with that is your understanding of programming and you're cycling through different types of training programs. So, what I like to do with someone in this situation, if you're experienced, is I actually want to take you to the, the most novel type of programming I can with with the exception that I'm I'm avoiding things like hit and plyometrics and things that are mm -hmm. you know flirting with you know cardiovascular endurance right um, but there's a lot you can you can train very now for example if you look at like our the our program library like right? if you look at maps anabolic compared to maps aesthetic they're very different even though they're 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 both traditional they both put muscle on they both can speed them if you train more like one than the other, I'm taking you to the other one. Or if you've never done something like like a map strong or power lift or yeah strong or strong. power lift, um, you know where you've done you've never like just focused on the four main lifts and and put really good programming into that. I'm gonna that's what I want to do when I'm also trying to increase somebody's calories because what naturally happens when you when you change the programming up that radically. You'll you'll notice like an appetite increase. You're you're gonna burn more. You're gonna burn more because it is so foreign to the body. It's so novel. It's sending a new signal to adapt differently. That normally also requires or wants more calories. So it's the perfect time to also try and increase calories. So and you only know what that looks like. You know if you were DM'd or emailed our customer support, you could say, hey, I'm following this type of a program. What would be best to transition into a bulk now? And I could give that recommendation. But, you know, if, if I'm not getting that information from you, then you have to assess that yourself and decide, you know, what do I tend to gravitate towards and then train something, you know, as different as or as novel as you can while also increasing calories. Yeah, I ha if I had to guess, I would say Map Strong would be the best uh, program for this, M mainly because it's got unconventional lifts in it that m a lot of people typically don't do. And it's still a strength building, mm -hmm. muscle building program. So if I had to guess without even knowing what your workout looks like, um, the odds are that would be the novel it's a safe routine. Safe bet because it's yeah, it's super novel. Right, right. it's yeah. more it's it's most likely this person trains more like anabolic or aesthetic. It's right, those, be, those are right. traditional bodybuilding, traditional mm -hmm. strength training type of a program. Strong would be novel enough that you're going to see a major response. Well, it's funny because it's that that program has we, we've gotten more DMs from women who followed the program, but that's said that they've burned. That's why. Yeah, yeah they yeah. haven't yeah. done any of these. Exercises. That's exactly yeah. that, is, and that is the reason why, right? And you know, it's not like it's a better program for women. Women, it's just that it is so novel for most women to train that way. Yeah, that that's why I think we got such a huge it's a great response. Great opportunity right. for growth, absolutely. But yeah, combine a good routine with a slow increase in calories. Of course, make sure you eat a high protein diet. So about one gram of protein 
uh, per pound of body weight. Slowly increase the calories and watch your strength go up, and you should be able to uh, increase your BMR. 